today I'm going to try a call ink for the first time. I am going to show you guys all the things that I bought first. I got this like kit that kind of is like a starter kit so comes with everything you really need um, and I did buy some paper thinking that it was going to work um, because in the starter kit it does come with like I think five sheets of paper but I knew that you know that's not going to last so I wanted to buy some more but the paper that I ended up getting didn't work out because I did kind of play with these um, inks last night for a little bit and yeah it did not work out with that paper that I bought so I'm going to need to buy more paper. Sadly I can't really do like a bunch of different I'm not going to be able to like play with it too much. Um, I still like have I think three papers of that five pack that it came with that I haven't used. So right now I'm just going to show you guys the stuff that I got. Okay so the starter kit that I got is this one it's um, called the alcohol, in alcohol ink kit and it's from Ranger um, and it just comes with three alcohol inks, one metallic mixture, one mini blending solution, one mini distress archival ink pad, one clear stamp set, one acrylic block, one ink applicator tool with 10 felt pieces, five sheets of alcohol ink cardstock, and one technique booklet. So the three um, alcohol inks that it came with where this yellow one that's called Sus Sunshine Yellow, um, this little kind of teal one that's called Stream, a red one that's called Red Pepper, um, and then the metallic mixture is this one in gold, um, and then it comes with a little alcohol blending solution. It's just like a little mini one, and then the rest of the stuff. Um, it comes with like some stamps which I feel like I'm probably not really going to use. Um, and then it comes with a like acrylic block so you could use the stamps. Um, it comes with some ink for the stamps. Um, so it comes with like two of them, I think. Or maybe it's just one of them. I think it's just one actually. Um, some little stamper thing. It's supposed to like, this is supposed to give be able to give you like some cool effects or something with the alcoholic ink um, and so it comes with 10 different little felts you can change out. Um, here's the paper. Um, it's the, it's got alcohol ink cardstock um, and it's like very glossy. Like one side is kind of just like regular cardstock and then the other side is like really really glossy. Almost like photo paper. Um, that's exactly kind of what it is and I think you can use like glossy photo paper and again I only have three left because I did use two of them last night and then just like the little booklet and this is the paper that I actually bought that didn't end up working out it's the Spectrum Noir and um, it's ultra smooth premium white cardstock and I thought it would work because um, I was watching like some video about someone saying that like just buy paper that doesn't have like there's no pores in it, you know, like nothing that you can kind of, the ink can kind of soak through on. And so because this one said like ultra smooth, I thought like it would kind of work. I didn't realize that you need to buy paper that's like glossy, like like completely like glossy paper. And um, so this one is basically kind of just like, it's just cardstock, just like it's really smooth, but it's, it's basically cardstock. So... It just, the ink just kind of soaks right through. You can't even really play with it much. So, sadly this didn't work out. So I'm going to have to use this for other stuff. Oh, and then this whole, like, um, starter kit was $30. I also, I was able to find more ink. Um, they had two other options of ink. And they only had one of each. And one of them kind of seemed, like, very muted color. So I ended up not getting it. But... They had this one, and they all come in like packs of three. So, but they had this one, so this one is eggplant. It's like a little purple. Um, this one's called lettuce. It looks like the color of lettuce. And then cranberry. Um, so I got three extra ones. And um, for a pack of three, it's I think, I got them for like $12.99, which I think you can find them a little cheaper, I think, 
on Amazon, I believe. Oh, I want to show you guys the ones that I did last night. I'm only going to show you one of the ones that I did because the other one didn't turn out that great. So this is the one that I did last night. Um, it... I feel like I ended up, I think, using, like, all the colors, I believe. So it's kind of crazy and everywhere. Um, I feel like I need to stick with just a couple colors, like two or three of them, next time. But I just got too excited and I just, like, ended up using all of them. But I don't think it turned out too bad. I like all the colors and stuff. Um, and then the second one that I ended up doing, because this is the first one that I did, and the second one I messed it up because I kind of basically did the same thing. But then I... You can use, like, alcohol with... This, you just have to buy, like, rubbing alcohol, and it's supposed to be, like, at least, like, I think 90% or higher, um, they recommend. And so, the one I have at home is only, like, 50%, so I want to try it out and see if it would even, like, kind of work, or if, like, it's just useless and it doesn't work. And it's basically useless, it does not work, but I want to try it out, so I ended up getting, like, a paintbrush, and I dipped it in that alcohol, and I kind of tried to, like, um, move it around in the paint, or in the ink, and it just completely made like a big blob of um, this like, um, almost like just like this really browny color, you know, like just like that brown color that when you mix all the colors together, it makes like that brown color. So that's kind of how it looks and it's like a big old spot, like right in the middle. Um, so yeah, I ended up like throwing that one out. It just did not look, turn out very good. But now at least I know that the 50% alcohol does not work so you have to get like a 90% or higher so I'm going to do that um next time I just don't have any with me so I'm not going to use that today but it, um this blending solution this alcohol blend solution is supposed to kind of do the same thing that like al that alcohol is supposed to do okay hey guys so here we are on the floor now I have a piece of paper um it's on the glossy side this side's like just regular matte paper and it's glossy on the side. So this is the side that we have to use. And then I have all my inks and my gold mixture and my um, alcohol blending solution. Um, sorry about my nails. They're <laughs> really chipped. Um, but hopefully you just can't really see them. I also have my blow dryer right here. I'm just going to use it on like the lowest setting and like lowest heat um, and see how it goes but I mean we're just experimenting seeing how this goes so I think for so I have three of these so I'm gonna try three different I guess techniques maybe or I don't know we'll, we'll see how the first one goes and, and then we'll decide what we're doing for the other ones but for this one I'm just I want to keep it simple I don't want to go all crazy like I did with this one and use all the colors. Um, I think I'm just going to use maybe two, maybe three different colors and I want to use like the gold um, just a little bit. I'm going to, I think, try to put some gold on like this brush. Um, this is just like a very cheap brush and I did clean it but it's just kind of stained a little bit. But I think I'm going to try to put a little bit of gold just on the tip of the brush so I can just kind of dot it on there because I feel like I don't really like how it looks with when I just kind of like actually put a whole dot on because quite a lot kind of comes out as you can see like this is like one dot, this is one dot and even though like I try to use a straw to like blow it out I feel like it just kind of stays in one spot. So I want to just maybe try to get a little bit of the gold and just kind of dot it in like certain places that I want it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I might like not turn out very good. But it's all for, we're all just experimenting and trying out what works. So uh, I don't know what colors to use. So I think I'm just going to do some red. Um, this one's the red pepper and some yellow, the sunshine yellow. Um, I might not put any gold in. Because I don't know if I'm going to like how the gold looks with the yellow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll decide later. So I think I'm going to probably like fast forward through this. So you don't hear like the big loud blow dryer.
I'm not a big fan of like all the circle like drop spots. I feel like it I feel like if I just kept adding more of this it would blend out, but I also don't want to like use up this whole thing. <laughs> so I kind of don't want to go too crazy. But I'm really liking how it's looking. Actually, I'm just going to add more. Screw it. I'll just buy more. I'll call later. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there because I think I really like how it's looking. I, I don't think I'm going to add any gold because I feel like it's either going to mess it up or maybe make it look a little nice. But overall, I'll probably mess it up. I think I'm going to actually add a little bit more um, alcohol solution over here. Only because there's two little, like, dots of, like, red that I think I just accidentally, like, dropped on there or something. So I don't like how those are just randomly there. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more blending solution just in that area. So I can kind of um, cover up those two little spots. Because honestly, they're going to they're gonna really annoy me. So let me just do that. Ooh, I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to stop there on this one. Here's a new one. Um, I think for this one, I'm going to try to use that little stamper thing. That, um, came in the thing. Came in the kit. Um, I forgot what this is called. It's, oh, an ink applicator tool. Um, I think you can, like, you can use this in a lot of different ways. I think you can, like, Either just add the ink on here, and these are pieces of felt, so you can just add the ink on to the felt directly and then like stamp it on, or I think you can like put the ink on the paper and then use this, and I think this just helps it like smooth it out, so it, instead of getting like all those kind of circles and stuff that I was kind of annoyed with, this just like helps it smooth it out with that, but honestly I still like how it turned out because honestly all you have to do is if we get tired of or if you get annoyed by the, all those circles, um, just add more blending solution and it just blends it out. So it's great. But I think I want to try to use this now. exactly how my um, other one turned out that I told you guys that I messed up on and it just looked like a big brown blob I feel like it looked exactly like this um, it just like really smoothed out like that and it was just a really ugly like brown color so I think I'm I'm liking more of like this bubbly look than like smooth so I think I'm gonna try to fix it with um, just adding more ink and using the blow dryer and hopefully I can fix this because I'm not really loving it so far. Or I'm not loving how this made it look. I'm not, not a big fan. So let's do that. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of this gold mixture. And I'm going to try to put it right like on the edge tip of the um, brush and just kind of like dot it on there and see how that goes. So first I just need to, really, I need to shake this up really good. those circles out so I think I'm just gonna keep it like that and now move on to the third one so this is the last one that I have I think I'm gonna use the colors that I haven't used already so I've used these two and I've used these two so I think I'm just gonna stick with this um, green lettuce and a, the cranberry okay we're back um, I had to charge the camera for like 10 minutes because it just died and it got really gloomy and it just started pouring outside so it's if you hear the rain um, 
in the thunder, but um, also it just got really dark in here, so I had to turn the light on, so hopefully it's a little bit better. Basically, the camera cut off right when I was um, pouring this ink on here, and so I just finished up um, kind of using the blow dryer to blow it around, and then I just kept adding more of the blending solution, and would just blow it around even more and then just add a little bit more wherever I wanted it and I just kept doing that for a couple times and now it's like this. So now I'm going to add the lettuce ink. pretty good now let me just show you guys all four of them so here are all four of the cards um, this one was the one I did last night and then these three today I really like how these two turn out this one's again not my favorite I think it's just like the color the two colors together just don't look the best um, um, and then this one <laughs> even though it's like crazy and it's just a bunch of colors and I feel like it's just, I mean, for the, my first try, I feel like it's not bad, so. But I, for sure, these two are, like, my favorite. I really love how these two turned out. You can see, like, the gold in here. Hopefully, you can see it anyway. Um, but, yeah, they're just, they're really pretty. And that is me trying alcohol ink for the first time. I feel like it turned out, they turned out pretty okay for my first time, um, the last one, not my favorite. I did end up um, adding way more blending solution um, because my camera died again. And so while I was waiting for it to charge, I just started like playing with it more and just adding a bunch more blending solution on it. And I added a bunch more of the gold on it too, onto like basically everywhere, just all the spots that I wasn't happy with to try to cover those parts, like spots up. So it looks a little bit, I think, lighter than what it was but it's still not really my favorite again because of like I think the color combination I don't really like that maroon and green together but I mean it's okay um but the other two that I made I love and then like the one from last night I think came out okay so yeah that was me trying alcohol ink and um I'm, hopefully maybe I'll make more videos about this because now I feel like I'm addicted to like wanting to get more colors and try to like just improve of like how to make them look. I don't know. I feel like if I just stick with color combinations that I like, they'll turn out pretty decent because I feel like these like, you know, like they're my first time trying them and I really like how they look because mostly because of the colors together. I feel like they look really good. Um, also, I really tried really hard to get my camera to focus on the gold, um, but I don't think you can really see it, um, so I'm sorry about that, but it, it is really pretty, and you can see it in person, especially once you, like, move it around and stuff. Yeah, you just get that metallic shift, and it's really pretty. Um, this one, again, I really love it. I love the yellow and the red together. Um, it just looks like ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Here's this one that I ended up, um... Again, trying to like lighten a little bit. Again, it's okay. it's all right. I don't know. I think I was just like adding way maybe way too much color and stuff. I should have stopped with just like one drop or something of the grain. So yeah, so that was me trying alcohol ink for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 